Hello, I am finally live. Welcome, welcome. I'm playing Witchwood today, which I got from Keymailer. Um, it's from... Oh my god, it's so much lag. It's from Whiteform Games. It looked really interesting. It's just come out, so I'll give it a, give it a check out. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I know nothing about this game. I, I saw the pictures and I read the description and stuff, but I, other than that, I'm pretty blind. I'm also still doing the um, the thankless thing, so you know, keep to donating towards that. It helps people get homes. Um. There's tons of information on about it online, so it's worth it's worth looking at. And my brain, my brain's n terrible at like trying to. Why is my, did my microphone sound a bit weird? I'm terrible at remembering things. Uh, once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in a little house. Odd little house. Spent most of the days tending to an odd little garden, resting in an odd little chair. My microphone sounds like it's stuttering. Hold on. Why does that sound so loud? Bear me a second. Ah, that's why. It's, for some reason, put itself at 100%. Uh, right, let me just quickly mess with the sound. There we go. Alright. Ah, I can actually hear myself in the mop. Don't tell it all crackly now. Uh, where's the game? I've lost the game. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, close, 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 close. There we go. She spent most of the days tending to odd little garden and resting in an odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by a little odd little noise. No. I swear I'm having any bloody issues today. Computer, I'm knocking my leg into the computer. On this day, she, she, her sleep is interrupted by odd little noise. Bah. Uh, get up, I guess. Ooh. It's pretty ready. The sound is very, very loud, though. Um, audio. There we go. Alright, that sounds a bit better. Uh, very pretty. Click or use F to interact. Um, how do I click the book then? I guess I can't anyway. You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from a beauty sleep? Blair. Blair. Shoo shoo, get out of my house, you minus beast. You're making a mess. With swift kick to the rump, you you boot the goat through the front door. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth hu 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 just yesterday. First things first, my grandma must be around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Aha. Here it is. Hmm. Looks like that I recall. Your grimoire contains all of the craftable recipes. You can open it any time by pressing H. Okay. <coughs> H. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. All my recipes are missing. Damn little creatures chewed them up on all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I needed to carry my fin things if I'm going to f confront the beast. I must have left it in the trunk over there. Braided belt. Oh. Uh, Seek divine. Even like these like the places, tenacious I always finds a way. Read divine. Tough plant flavors, roughly braided for thin rope. So if I. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? Good dose of medicine, or so, so if he's taking bones before I head outside. 
At least I still have the recipe for my men in Poltis. What's this? What did I have on my inventory? Oh, apparently nothing. Why just pick some stuff up? Directional audio is a bit throwing me off a little though, because like if I go too far this way, all the audio goes over this side. If I go that way, all the audio goes over that side. Yeah, the audio is a bit off. Let me collect my things. I thought I did. There's nothing else to track with. Outside this humid marsh and immediately stub your toe and twist the roof. Ouch, close your eyes for a wink. Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to weeds. <coughs> My god. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear brain through the dense bramble. Where that cross eyed Billy get to? At least put those gnashes to good use in his lawn. Press tab to open your get yeah, a better look at your surroundings. You got a bit of there he is. Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! Ugh. Go caught caught this disgusting hairball. Ah yes, hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used that immortal bottle. Yuck some dirt in its mouth. Puh, puh. You can talk. Of course I can talk, because you mind come and say for the cobwebs that you've got on your old dear, your old friend. You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was going to wonder if you have awakened, and I suppose the time is so strange in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we've agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. Gant nods his head towards the ancient stone gate. Hope. And then we went. Gateway looming up to nearby. And how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a close look and it will come back to you. you open your witch's eye and G to open your witch's eye and G to that expect objects, okay. Stone pillar, no usually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted grindings. The goat. It, uh, I'll help you out, trust me. A bit. Don't to make your sense of my dear. You may be old, but you can can see thing, other things. See things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying behind the surface. Ah, I can see it now. The shallow ruins that should surface in the stone. They're too faint for me to read. Pattern of unveiling should do the trick. If you hadn't made the snack of my book, I wouldn't have to read and transcribe my recipes. I should not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences occurred as a result of a bit of possession. When selecting objects and creatures, you can learn the recipes to craft and grimoire. Okay, I'm going to change the audio a bit again. It's a bit too loud still. Alright, let's pick up random shit up floor. Shears will cut these cleanly. Okay. A weird, like, swerving motion. Right. 
can't do anything with that yet, can I? No. Unveiling power. Right. <coughs> uh, ah, gee, which is I? So, do I use that, that, or do I drag it? Oh, okay. Right click. Um. What? Yeah. Oh, we have to go right, right up to close to it. You smear a handful of the glowing powder on the rooms of the doorway. Cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint. Attempting to discern meaning of the letters, they appear to be in some score obscure runic al alphabet. What gibberish is this? Looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. It must be written in the rule tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps out of the door and pauses. Um, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted and wool obscures this creature's beaded eyes. I I cannot see. Unbelievable. What, what help are you then? I didn't come here to help, I came here to collect. Now, do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think we have to my old rushy shears in the garden. Yeah. Go and shear some stuff. Alright, it's a witch's eye, so we should be able to see what we can cut. But I need shears, though. Maybe it's in the chest that's now clickable. There we go. Right, let's just use and use another thing then. As you haggle the thick tangle of vines with your shears, the tendrils seem to dull in density because they threatened to swallow up the doorway, no, how, no matter how hard you work. Where do you think you're going? You haven't forgotten about me ever going, have you? Who? With much processing in the next year, you should shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, we always this grotesque and we're mainly failing as well. What's your tongue? I'll give you a good snip too. Now you can read the runes or not. Hmm. Yes. A space between she seeks alone, tokens give up to unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone, braises burn and rate the crone. Crone, who's it talk who's calling the crone? And what are these tokens are about to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a look at it. At, look bleh. Take a closer look at those braziers. Past, past contents have left a hard residue within fog slime. <coughs> Slippery mucus secreted from a damp dwelling amphibian. Dog hair, bird feathers, fog slime, and shiny stone. I don't suppose you followed by any figures of things when I was asleep. I don't think so, but I feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. You see a goat wear over there? This one with the lovely green flame? Goat motions talk to the far side of the yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods wouldn't would do joint yeah, creaky joints some good. Too much indoors is bad for the hu humans. Fitness. Get going through the gateway. No. You just asked me to get like some like stuff from the water. in the house. Right. OK. 
Okay, so I can't do that still. You say that, but I can't go through still. Okay. Oh shit, I just clicked on screen. Whoops. Why not? It's funny how it's simulating properties but where ground consumed was simply stepped on. <coughs> right. I can't get down there though. Now what is that me? Saving turn, your shears make short, short work like a bramble. He said, it, he said it couldn't do it before. Cut your way through the remaining vine, and suddenly step into a cold, cold stone dais. Time seems to fly backwards, maybe it speeds forwards. An impressive, star filled void stretches out as far as you can see. There's no wind or sound in this void. The warm fall breeze and chirping of birds seize your attention. A doorway. Mmm. <coughs> things I need then apparently. Woman spins around the hills so quickly. She nearly hits you with a spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research, what is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why right, the famed indigo turfed forest lark. Said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? Hey, it's my second anniversary of the day. Nice. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Fine. Uh, you can't talk about a small bit of bad. Parched top of previous Spiderman's hat. I, I haven't. Sorry. Shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes. A wonder, one's a natural world. You never know what to discover. My wedding. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, congratulations on, on your anniversary. I think I don't know when my my uh don't know when my one year anniversary with uh like being together is yet. I think it's I think it's Jan end of January or midway through January. Thirteenth year, nice. Thirteen year it's saying that that's a long time. A very long time. I get school, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behaviour, and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation G is the key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. Blue bird can't can't vaguely you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. <laughs> whenever, you, whenever people tell me like how many how many years they've been together, he's like, it's 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 awesome, but it amazes me how how quick time goes by. I'm gonna like as you. That's fine. Don't worry. 
I'm sort of just chilling tonight, just uh, testing this game out, or like checking it out. I've changed my game t game test thing now to like monkey, c call it monkeying around instead. As sometimes it d like the games I get on like the betas, so can't really call it a game test if it's already out. Hey D. Hey from the other room. <laughs> Evening, ma'am. Just coming to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I've just fired the kilns up, so it'll be a while still. Pottery, bah! I was admiring the fine canine over there. Point to scraggly little map patrol in the yard. Might give her a petting. Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if I would roll your fingers. She should touch bitey bite today. Doesn't doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find G with something to calm down. Weaknesses, shears, and soporific muscle. Ow. <laughs> Away. Mine. It's a very pretty game, this is. I'm loving the look of it. Oh, Wisher. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this. He tapped the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles his head first into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge. Like what, like a, some wobbly stalk. What's so interesting down the well, anyway? Well, my grandpa used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there. Just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it looks like awful dark and damp. I get the goosebumps thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down in, in the shadows. I've considered that these ghoulies might be just goosebumps you thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight. Uh, no, not really. I'm not sure if that makes me feel any better about them. Actually, maybe not, Maybe the business of treasure hunting is with me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down the well and see those ghoulies for yourself. Eh, might as, might as well. The old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it. But the rope has long since brought it away. I'll use this uh, twine that I have. You toss a length of strong homemade twi rope down uh, into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Money! Uh, trowel. Oh, jar. Okay. I'm getting getting the hang of it. I wonder if there's a way to ah space picks up as well, okay. Okay. I think it did tell me to start. Shiny stone needed. Nice. <coughs> right, so we get dog hair now, and a few other things. Make anything yet? Uh, right, snag trap. Can't make that yet. Can't make that. Is <coughs> that Okay. So I still need to make a trap at some point. Ah, I haven't got hatchet yet.
Laurel's weakness is a snap trap. Hey, you there. Give me the hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These thumbs aren't going anywhere. My darn user's son was supposed to help me. But he's wandered off again. Probably should bother with frog go probably to go bother with frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing the way of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make powerful sleepy pow make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. I'm not sure I do like poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense. Anyone we can experience the joys of splitting the fine stump. Here my boy. What him, my boy won't be st Here, my boy. Here, my boy won't be missing much. He's ha missing his hatchet. Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm speaking too fast. So now I should then be able to make my stuff. So. So now I can make. So if I make the traps, then. Oh god, it actually kills the thing. Oh, it just captures it. Oh no. That's that's. It's a bit horrible. <laughs> I suppose they need the ingredients. Alright, I need to make uh, that then. Alright, so now we can go and knock out the. Knock out the. Um, Dog. Can we sh shave it then. Rob the light. Um. Oh, got six rights. I think I can make that yet. Show the man. Right, so blue feather next. How do we get blue feather? Oh god, not a snap trap again. Sorry, birdies. Right, we need to cut one wood as well. Seems like we're going to get a net next then.
I fucking use the unveiling? Doubt it'll work, but yeah, it's not gonna work. <coughs> now we need more wood, it seems. speak yet, no. Right. I'm so sorry. Come on. Right, I don't know where I'm supposed to get the frog slime from though. Down here. Oh, there he goes, the weird kid. Ragamuffin. Oi, lady, what's with the great stinking pot in your head? Oh, that's the same about the stinking frogs in your trousers. Oh, you're just jealous. Boy fumbles between trying to wrangle his, all these frogs and swiping him virtually away at, at wayward fireflies with shuddering little magnet. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What are you hoping to accomplish fighting that about like that? You daft, me and the frogs are hungry, so we'll catch one of the fireflies to feed them. It takes another wild swing, misses target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would, that would let you swing the net properly. I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net, and you can catch me some fireflies? Then I maybe I'll think about training you one of my froggies. Uh, sure. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with these empty bellies. If I should catch fireflies fast, we can eat. Uh, I mean, frogs can eat. I need one more. Come on. There you go. Right. Boy shakes jar rattling and capturing insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. That's going to be feast tonight. Now, about a deal, you agreed to trade me one of your pets there. <laughs> what deal? I don't remember something like Oh, Scott just goes out the boy's overalls and pops down the feet with a slap. Dang it, there goes Slippery Pete. Takes a clumsy swipe at Amphibian, but the creature speeds out his grass and bumps into the underbush. Ah, oh, shucks, and I never liked him anyway. If you can catch him, he's all yours. Come back. Come back. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny slime, dock hair. That's all I need for the braziers. I should head back home now. I'm going to have a look, a bit more of a look around, actually. See what else I can grab before I go. I want to get some of them sprites as well. Oh, we're gonna wear the ground again. Okay. All right. So we need to get that, and then we go up to <coughs> well, over to the ferries anyway. Come 
Come back, fireflies. I need you. <coughs> Alright, now get some more. Get some of them sprites. Oh, actually, we go down the well as well, actually, for a go. Uh, yeah, it's going to well now. Uh. There was something down there, if I remember. I did. Okay. I thought I didn't put uh, put the game out in <coughs> on Twitter. I know that was locked, but is there something else I could do down here? Maybe I like a trap. down here then. Uh. Actually, I need to heal myself as well. It seems I accidentally uh, got myself killed. <coughs> right, dog is again, so I need to craft another one of these. everything from here so let's, get, let's do one more please time to go home yes Raise your weights of offering. Really further. Strong force pulls the fervor down into a large basin like a magnet. It bursts in a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. Raise your weights of offering. Dog hairs take a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles, in the in fur bristles into foul smelling coils before erupting in a gold green flame. You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. Mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce it to a fine odorless ash. <coughs> Brazier rates offering. You drop the stone to the basin with a sounding chime in sound. The fractious trace across the pebble before it cracks open and cold green light swallows it within its flames. The emerald flames of Brazier play a strange shadow across the stone in the doorway. You watch as the fingers of shadow crawl up the grot face and crack open the so Solid granite like a stale bread. Stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down to cold earth. After you, madame. 
okay. Turn it on this. Okay. I'm placing the gilded silver crystal coffin. Who said silver? Uh, lies the body of a young woman. As she sleeps in the chart in slumber, her ageous features express a deep sadness. Sound of Cloven Hoover's echo against the marble floor as Gope comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you. What, why? Who's she? I have the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless from to my doorstep. I'm guessing that's her. I'm begging me to save her soul. Save from what? And why is she asleep? Why from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her life? We well, have deceived her and cheated her. Broke her spirit. As we agreed, here she will sleep, will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. So you bring me, bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do. Or what do you not remember? At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark looks in the way depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And why should I do it to your bidding? It seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. Why, why do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls and I will release the sleeping maiden from the slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows, in time you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or, you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel, where you will waste away until your weeds grow so thick that even your shears will be able to cut you free. Your mind will stay empty as the grimoire of yours. But, but is it a big decision to make so high hastily? Why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely so able to stay open. What have you done to me? I can't stay awake. No. How do I get back here? Did he carry me over? Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls of us or will you prefer to stay stuck in the special swamp? Alright, alright. No need to get your horns in a twist. Do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid, as it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. They're in the forest, another in the swamp, to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. <coughs> Should you be more specific? Near its shapely stump, perhaps inside a tree with a face, by overgrown mushroom cove. What do I look like? A compass. Go out and find a look yourself. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I hate when you just choke on the spit. <laughs> right, let's go back into and have a proper look. Beautiful young woman seems to be fast sleeping inside a delicate cast coffin. Yeah, seven. Uh, twelve. Seven. Guess we're leaving again. On me. Uh, how do we get to the next area then? Alright, so we're in the forest, I'm guessing. Bear in the forest. Uh, do you have any more than that? I guess we'll have a look. Oh, look. Right. No, 
There we go. Why? It doesn't let me tap them. Make sure. There we go. I don't remember this sign there before. Oi! Stop where you, where you are. Yeah, no one but soldiers are near each your camp. And you don't look like a no soldier. Yeah, that's not standard issue her on it. Just came to visit my uh, son. I don't think so. Captain said no visit visitors. Buzz off. Dongus and dingus. Yeah, unless you're the quartermaster, you ain't getting in. Hey, where is that nervous wreck anyway? Oh fuck. Can I oh. I don't think I can go for that again. Didn't read the last bit. Beat it, Grandma. I'm sure it wasn't too important. Okay, so I guess I can't go in there yet. stuff for him to knock the thing out. <coughs> jar of water. No, don't have a jar of water. Where's the frog? Come on, come on. Hurry up. Can I make a pot? Can I get a jar of water from here though? No. Because that would be too obvious. I wonder if I can sneakily run and get it and go. Water here, can, can I can I get it from here? No. <coughs> you approach a young woman sleeping sorrowfully in her weeping sorrowfully and <laughs> sleeping in her palms. Um sorrowfully into her palms. She caps her breath for a moment and looks longly over the placid lake. Oh my sweet songbird, why haven't you forsaken my life to me a life devoid of your love? Here's well up in your eyes, as she buries her face once again. Consider leaving this melodrama well enough alone, but something about the poor girl reminds you of the maiden slumbering under your house. You draw out the tattered handkerchief and offer it to the maiden. There, there. Dry your eyes, my child. Tell old Granny what the matter is. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Hates the cloth and da daintily dabs the corner of her eyes, swallowing the last bit of her sobs. She composes herself before sighing wistfully. This is my beloved, such a sweet and romantic man, with a voice and meadow lark. Ah, I get it. He dumped you. Well, don't get worry. There's plenty of other frogs in the swamp. What? No, he, he loves me. And I, him. Though families would never allow us to be, together, to be together, he'd come along and sing by my balcony every, ni every night. One night we both failed to escape, escape and meet by this lake. Her lip quivers. I waited and waited in a waning moment, even past more than sun, but he didn't reveal himself. Tough break. Maybe he just wasn't that into you. Someone snaps at you with a sudden patrol. He would never abandon me. We were destined to be together. She slips back into melodonic. Melodonic gaze over the lake. Even now I can hear beautiful melodies loot coming from across the water. All the, all the dull sounds of laughing waves and whistle, oh, quacking and quacking about. Faint time notes of some far, far away stringed instrument whisper through the reeds. Oh, I hear it too. Maybe you aren't mad at love. You come from somewhere in the middle of the lake. You dealt with it just somewhere. I know it. She comes from another dramatic bout of inconsolable tears. No, no. I'm sure it's just a echo bouncing off the shore. I'll go find where this tardy bard is yours run off to. <coughs> okay. Did I just... Oh, I was going to say. 
I, I didn't bloody waste it. I didn't, so it's fine. <laughs> There's a bait stick and work on you then. Ow. Bitch. Ow. The fuck. Uh, I guess I need to heal myself. Go to the to the well then. Oh, the door's open by me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Suppose I could, if I've got enough space, I can make some more pots. the bait will work up here. Uh, J. No. I have no clue at the moment. Newt's dragonflies and bats. Ah, okay. Where's squirrels and rats? Cool. So I do need to get the one from. Yeah, because I need to knock out that uh <coughs> dog. Actually, can I make? Oh. I was going to say, can I make any more pots? Might as well go back down and fill the water up. Fill the pot up with water, I mean. How many more can I actually make? Can I do four more? I just need you. Alright, let's go back up. in the box. What, is, what are you weak against anyway? Dreadful dull, okay. Uh, 
Right, how do we make a dreadful doll? Oh, it's stuff we don't have yet, okay. You seem to be strongest on this shore, but even here you can't place a source. It seems to be in the middle of a half second room poking out its waters. Maybe four bards hang way out there. Bah. I swim as well as hands by. It's only unseen fo voice chitters and mocking in your ear. Ho ho he he. The musical man, you'll never see. Spin around but never said. Manic will laugh and bounce in the wind. Who's there? Show yourself, spirit. Snap your hand around the elusive creature and squeeze. Ah, let me go, you knobbly pot. You're crushing me life out me. You trifling little pet. What do you know about this music? 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 What, what music? All I, hear is, all I hear is slapping waves and peeping birdies. Your wrinkly old ears must be full of bugs. Don't play smart with me. I'll pull your head off like a daisy. Ooh, you mean that music? The sound of a snake. Snakes travel in circus. Well, everybody knew that. Circus stays still. But doors, doors the thing that travels, you see. Right now, the door's out on the lake, but you never get in. <laughs> uh, you give the wretched sprite a good shake, and the shower of glitter and dust sheds off its wings. Tell me how to cross the lake, or I'll make a necklace out of your teeth. Only fa fae folk can show the way. Dirty fairies built a bridge. Keep you, you folk out, unless the snake invites them in. You're a fairy, aren't you? Where's this bridge? Ha, we're a pixie. Not one of those flummy family mushroom herders. But besides, the bridge is invisible to big stompers like you. The creature bears over your shoulder and waves its sunny arms. Oh look, there's a fairy now. Why don't you ask her? He turns to look, but in the moment of distraction, the pi pixie simply starts up to the finger. Ah, oh, you sneaky little blighter. Spring and free from grass, the slippery monster chitters a laugh, vanishes, in, vanishes into a cloud of smoke. You look down at your dust-covered hand. Fairy or not, this bridge must be around here somewhere. Okay. Changeling root. Ski to snoot. I need to make that though. Fields. So let's go up that way then. Okay, so I'm gonna need a smoke for that. Jeez, I'm gonna need a lot of ingredients. Who's there? My eyes are going milky. Please come closer, little sister. Don't believe we were met before. Why do you call me sister? I need sight to see someone who's signed a dark contract. The woman looks blind, blindly through you. You can sense her focus. Contracts? You've had, had dealings with that damn goat too. What sort of pact did you rope me into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young and he weren't no goat when I knew him. He used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead. Frightful, dull country music. Junt country folk. There. Uh... <laughs> Ah, but it's ancient history now. Old age comes for us all, and eventually you've got to hang up a sacrificial dagger and settle down in the comforts and retirement. <coughs> I've no feeling. I miss my cozy chair and little fireplace. It seems like a fine spot you got here. Well, it's not all poses and pumpkin vehicle. She clutches worriedly at the moth-eaten blanket on her lap. What's wrapped with your bones? Maybe I can help. 
My dear old husband. How's Handsome chap, although a bit clumsy. He had trouble trying to weed out with the pump traps from the yard. Awful things like to snap at your toes when you're not looking. Anyways, he twisted his ankle pretty bad and went off to the sick house that we looked at. But that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And the legs haven't worked alright in decades. I can't go and check up on him. I've been so worried. I even thought about making another contract. Don't you dare. Just wait here. I'll, I'll find him see what the bother is. Thank you, sister. The sick house is down the road to the west. Careful the critters along the way. They've got a taste of blood. More quests. More quests. <laughs> right, let's uh, see what else we've got around here. What the fuck? Not for a dragon, but just as mean. Drake. Snackrofice. Okay. Embalming salts. Should I be worried this woman's got loads of dead bodies in her yard? Moss grown on this massive fallen trunk scene before you touch. Strange edges on dark blow. Slowly, a spark of swelling energy feeds forth from the waterlogged wood no, until an inferior doorway opens before you. Hey, oh, another axe is free then now. Nice. Good or bad? Okay. <coughs> Slowly going there. The fat troll sits squarely in the middle of the bridge, busy scratching an itch on its back with a fallen tree. His unmatched girth it blocks the path forward. Out of the way, you big loot. Shift his mass and releases a loud fart as you attempt to circumvent him. Lovely. Oh, fine. Keep your rage. I'll come back when the vapors have dissipated. Lovely. Do actually have anything to make anymore? Oh, so I can make a sin box, that's cool. So I'm defeat that one around there. <coughs> oh, what else do I need for that? So I need a, I need a, one of those uh, leaves, which is outside this forest, so it's going to be fun run around. Uh, 
Place of power before hand. Hmm? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I just need to go all the way back to get a, a leaf. Which spice for that one? Like so. so I can't make one of them yet. Made one of them. Why does my fucking phone keep buzzing? Hold on a second. Don't keep buzzing at me. Hmm, weird. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. This is not my drink. Not everything else as well. Hold on. Who's this, uh. We're already wet socks. Controller as well. Hold on. <sighs> no, hold on. I'm to find that thing back. Drop any more drink. What was it even doing now? Um, try and find like the stick guy again. Who is this? Oh, it was right, okay. I wonder if I need the guy that was walking around. I can't remember which way it was now. Maybe this way? You got that, and then maybe it was down this way. Pretty tree. Uh, can I make any more of them revealing stuff? Mm. I can.
Okay. Where's that stick dude? He was there only before. I swear he was. Look this way. There he is. Yeah, it's got him. Ow. Yes. Well. Yeah. I'm sitting up straight. I'm having a drink. Right. Hello. No, it's fine, it's fine. I sort of spilled a drink, so I had to stop for a moment as well, so. <coughs> right. This is a really fun game, by the way. It's very, very, like, your sort of uh, likes in the sense of, like, it's very foresty. Loads of mushroomy sort of stuff. A lot of crafty um, things. Right, so I need to... Get these stick tones. See what I think? Was he in that? Is he in the? He's in the in the swamp area. Uh, again. I keep like really healing myself. by the uh, stick titan guy now. Can't find them again now. Certain ones I've found and they've just not appeared again. Is everything okay on that side, fixy wise? Right. I need to defeat him. Shears and sacrifice. Sacrifice. I don't think I've got enough stuff for yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can make it. I oh, need dragonfly. Uh, swamp dragonfly wins. How do I defeat a dragonfly? Then? Oh, bait stick. How do I make a bait stick? Uh, bait sticks are made with those. I need to get toxic thistle. I don't know why it's don't, don't like it does have a little bit, yeah. It's like it's a mix of a few different games look wise. Um I love it. I'm loving the game so far. It's a beautiful game and it's fun. It's a fun little it I get what people call it, say it's like Animal Crossing Cross of Stardew. But thank you thank you for the eight months. I really appreciate it. Thank you for staying a subscriber uh oh god, that long. Ah, hold on. Uh uh There we go. Alright. I can't break it. Can I use shears on it? <gasps> I can. Okay. Let's use the 2D. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, yeah. It is. It's I mean, you may like this game, though. I, I, obviously, I'm not you, so you might, you might go look and go, eh. But... I use this. Can I use that? Spirit salts. Ah. 
See, as when, so when you use your witch vision, you hover over and you go, oh, I wonder how I'll do that. And it shows you. And when you hover over that, like say, go in the spirit sword, you then learn it. You like, because you're, you forgot, you've lost your memory. So you used to be this parrot, apparently, is a really powerful witch. And you, you've sort of, you've, uh, you basically slowly gain your memory back. So basically, you're looking at this and go, oh, yeah, it's that. So now I know how to make spelling sorts. So, so if I do that and craft one of these, then using that, I can make spirit sorts. Which then I can find where the hell it was. Which one was it that I needed it on? Is it a leech? The leeches are gone now. Oh, no, it is. So I can go use that on it. And I've got blood. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool way you're basically using items from other monsters to kill other monsters. He keeps farting for some reason. Right. So I need a bait stick for those. Right, so where are you? Where are you, Dragonfly? I need you. <coughs> ah, Dragonfly. So now that should go over there. For some reason it explodes. But we got Dragonfly ones now, which means... We've got enough of that, that one, so now we need to go to the fields. Fields. So fields will be that other way. But we need to go west at the moment, apparently, to find her, this woman's husband. I don't know if we can go west. I think that's, that's what the monsters stop blocking us at the moment. Yeah. <coughs> so we can't go that way. Maybe we can go down this way. Ah, there we go, to the sick house. Music's nice as well. I like I do like the um art style. Or the portraits. Hold on now, the sick house is full of brim first of disease. Don't you know there's a deadly plague going around? A plague, you say. This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, it's terrible. It affects young and old and healthy and infirm alike. I'm so swamped with patients, I can barely catch my breath. So what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be inside tending the ill? We've just got so many bodies piling up. I just want us to bury them before they spread sickness spreads further. There was a voice to whisper, looking ashamed. It's gotten so crowded that I've had to dump some in the swamp. That seems unethical. But don't worry, the leech leech is inside working mirrors on other patron. They couldn't be in better hands. The leech. The dis that's the doctor's place. The best in the land. Don't you dare think out how much worse it'd be without the skills. I need to speak to her. I'm checking up on someone who came through here. Sorry, I cannot in good conscience allow a person of your um, years to enter such an infectious place with problem in the occupation. Of all the patients, we're low on medicine and probably don't have any to spare. Bah. What's this simple booster shot made from anyway? There's plenty of medical ingredients right here in the swamp. I'll go and get them myself. It was pretty basic with prescription. If you bring me the components, I'll be able to mix and minister it. Then you can go inside. I need 3 milligrams of bug icor extract, 5 grams of toxic thistle powder, and some lazy grass from the vein. I've got that. Face sloshing the jar in that hand. She suspects it suspiciously, but doesn't ask where it's come from. I need three guns. Okay. Uh, lazy grass and top of it. Okay, that shouldn't be hard to find. <coughs> lazy grass. Lazy grass. There's plenty of thistle. Reads. I need lazy, lazy ones though. I don't know.
Let's uh, confront this swamp. I can't see a bloody any laser grass yet. Was it that you need to be feared? Snag vine. Do I have enough stuff for that? <coughs> I need to skip snoop. Ah, it's you. Uh, alright, what's the need? Some snag vine. Need to make another one of these. Oh shit, he's right there. Ah, uh, didn't realize how close he was. Alright, inventory. It's lazy grass. I need lazy grass. It says <coughs> Oh lazy grass oh my god. So I wouldn't I'm in the wrong bloody place then. Okay. I said I can get all this from the swamp. I clearly can't. Ow. Wrong one. The field's down that end, so I need to go all the way down. Okay. Oh, sorry, I think I mentioned most of this debris off the road. I thought you made fine wreck. What happened to your car? Yes, well, you see, I was on a very important mission by the Cordon Captain, the Bear. Bear, you say, what sort of mission? It's my job to make sure the Lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions. Most importantly, a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. Just the way back from the apiary, when a car for when a deer or something darted out of nowhere, just my poor mule was so bad that she broke her bridle and ran off. Bridle. Uh, my own heart nearly ripped out my rib cage. Pulled a darn cart right into the ditch, she did. Every barrel was smashed, and I can't bring myself 
I said from Porter Packer, empty handed. The bear will have my guts for guards, I'm sure. The bit, this bear sounds like a quite brute. I really don't know half of it. If he doesn't get his honey mead, heads will roll. Maybe you can lend me a hand. I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, nothing like that. But you can make a message to the sergeant of Lakeshore Camp. He's a reasonable fellow. Let me know if we, what happened, and maybe you can get me out of this bind. You get to the Lakeshore Camp if you follow the road to the north. Northwest of here. Uh, I need to stay with the cart and assess the damages. Oh dear. Oh dear dear dear. <coughs> right, I guess we're going to the field for the uh, lazy grass. Good day to you. Oh, so, oh hi. Got that. Hop a leg. Oh, don't tell me you have any. Ah, no, don't. Ah. Digestive tablets. Goblin snot, ew. Might as well get some grain while I'm here. I don't know, not as large as the ox crops. A hefty gourd stands before it. Gourd stands before you, wiping beads of dew off its bumpy forehead. It tilts his brim up from his hat and greets you with what it interprets as a smile. Welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How's it going, farmer? Oh, you know, not so bad. Try and best to find these Z harvests. Com competition Z here. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be shoot shooting for brew, brew ribbon. You've been doing so, wouldn't you? But every every year, without without sale, without sale, that sour ox takes the prize. Now, how much how you how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his crops. Careful now, you'll begin to sound like a sore loser. Yeah, yeah, not sore loser. Just think it, think it, you're quite suspicious, you know. Last year, the ox in family called the lar largest corn tops I've ever seen. I've also only bear. <laughs> I was only barely able to get second place because my own little helpers. I'm wishing that animated town at some taste busy with menial farm work. But this year, his crops are larger than ever before. Even though his family is nowhere to be seen, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's working the fields all by himself. What happened to his family? Is that the fish about? No one knows. They, they just disappeared one day. And the ox has said nothing. Nothing. That does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Yeah, yeah. His family's down the southwest. You can't miss it. I must get back to work. Veggies won't gr won't gr grow themselves, you know. It's hard to do an accent. Everybody wouldn't go past.
Violent, just like s full speed, like peasant. Not entirely like a chicken, but like a sweaty peasant's son. Sort, especially as it's prim primarily through stalling. <coughs> can I can I quickly go? <laughs> Peer through the hedgerow and see a ramshackle and clapping strewed with thunder. Captain has br brigands picked nails with James and daggers. I've got nothing to gain from the nest of names. Better make myself scarce before they see me. It's coming back to the safety of the road. Ah. Oh, oh, finally. Teleport is in this place then. <laughs> Come to Jack, I'm watching by product of har harvest magics. Oh, can I do I have a uh, can I make it yet? Damn it. I haven't got any on me. <laughs> Good day to you. Ah Why? A natural tinker, but still need refuse to read any instruction manuals. Puzzle him. I don't know. Oh shit, I just realised my health. Uh, I need to make more health potions. And I don't have the right stuff. Oh shit, I've got to be careful then. I don't know what happens if I die. Is it not like... Have I not found like a... Hmm... Maybe that's. Does it, it says that there's a hay bolt on it, so maybe. <coughs> maybe that's uh, the. I need. I need to find tele like a, the, the 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 warp place. On close inspection, this mountain of hay beams being thoroughly woven into intricate wicker work structure. You carefully plug a single piece of straw from its center, and the whole bundle begins to swell and unravel. Everyone to the gaping vortex. Yay! Nice. Alright, so now because we need to go all the way over there. I'm gonna take a shortcut. Although we do need um we do need to get make some potions. Uh so let's go this way and it'll we'll maybe head up. There we go. Exactly what we need. I need one around here. That'll do. Need to heal myself. No, nope, wait, I need two of them. No! Okay, maybe that won't do. I need two. So any other plants? <coughs> Come on, there's got to be another one around here. Ah, there we go. Do we have enough? To I wonder if we've got enough toxic fear cells. I bet we don't. No, my luck. Shell. Right. Can I make a shortcut? Can I get a shortcut for you? Why right not? Uh, 
How was it? Was it for? Uh, what is it? was that? You get both of them over here. I bet we're missing like one item. It's always the way. Oh no, I've got enough. Okay, good. You snap a few tiny fizzles and pass them to the nurse. She's careful not to prick herself on the sharp ends. I need. Okay, okay. Uh, the nurse takes dry grass as you and careful to keep intact. Immediately crushes them into powder. The nurse nods at you, giving all these ingredients in a small hand hand sized mortar. You hold your breath as she matches everything with slimy, stinky liquid. Not the most pleasant stuff, but I assure you it beats growing lumps where no lumps should be. Speak for yourself, one can, can never have enough lumps. No shrugs at you, sucking up a bubble mixture into an oversized syringe. She suggests you, you hold out your arm. After stabbing you in the flesh several times, she fails to find any veins to point the needle. Sorry, you seem to have a strange f physiology. Bah, give it here, I'll do it. It's easy to inject and jab it into your arm without further fuss. Cool sensation comes into your fingertips. You no doubt that... You no doubt the medicine behind the effect, but at least you should make it, make the nurse happy. There, I feel much better. Can I go inside now? Oh yes, yes of course. To be immune to the plague for the time being, to be quick, they very busy. But it literally does nothing. Yes, not okay. Doctor slivers from one patient to another, checking off little boxes in the clipboard. From under, under her wide-brimmed hat, she appears and notes you enter, but he's not united. You must be the leech. I was hoping you could help me find one of your patients. Do you have the symptoms? Crackling of the bones, oozing eyes, skin rot, perhaps a yellow liver? Let's get you examined. The leech extends her toothy snout, holding your body in such a hidden malignity. Yeah. You stuff away with your swift palm. If it's sickness you're looking for, you won't find it on me. My dear. We're all sick of something. Or it's broken heart, broken arm. We all suffer in one way or another. You peer through the tightly wrapped arms and see a deep dark darkness underneath. To play with warmth in the words, there's a t sense of hunger and urgency in your tone. I'm here to heal, to mend, put all your troubles at ease. Now tell me what ails you. I told you already, I'm perfect health. I'm here to find someone, a man who came through with a sparring dangle. Half the patient's coming here, twisted this, twi broken that. Before the pox sets in, uh, can you be more specific? What does he look like? Oh, um, I'm not sure. And how do you expect me to find you? I hope to help. Expecting to help you. Come back when you when you know who you're looking for. You look about the sick house, about covering weeds and bedroom souls. Perhaps I'm I'd, I'd identify the missing husband. It's a fellow with dark hair and dark eyes. It's a bearded guy you're looking for. You don't know where that shot really got to her. Crimson wine. Ooh. Can I? I can't pick it up. Leave me alone. Can't find a short guy. Can't help you there. Let's take free stuff. The patient just stares into a distant sign. <coughs> it's the bit. It's the beardy guy you're looking for. The go beard. They're sleeping. Looks like they could use a rest. Husband, yeah, he had dark complexion with me.
Well, you're exactly who you're looking for. Short the most. Going to need a bit more than that. Uh, darker features. Going down. Give me something else. I had war a full beard. Ah, yes, I remember the poor man now. Came with a sore and ankle, but his journey through the swamp must have contracted plague. Condition climbed rapidly. I'm sorry to say, in the end, there was not much I could do for it except make him comfortable. He's dead? What sort of sick house is this, anyway? My condolences, really. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get back to doing what I can for a living. At least tell me where his wife might collect his body. The nurse upside seems to be having trouble tra tracking track anymore. I'm sorry, that information is reserved for the next of kin. Judging by your physique, I wouldn't say you're related to the deceased in the slightest. Doctor turns away from from your pair of vials of medicine. Better to return the old woman from bad news. Oh dear. That's not good. So she was down this way, I think. Is it down this way? Yeah, because then it's gone up the woods, yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna need to change my uh, subscription sounds tonight or something. Still haven't, still haven't modified them I've had them for ages. You're only using my husband. He should be back from the sick house by now. Bury your head in condolence. I'm sorry to say, but your husband has passed away. At least say he fell well with the plague. Rather than grieving, especially with mild annoyance across the woman's face. Oh, what a nuisance. You don't seem to be upset by the news. Well, he was getting on in... He was getting on in years. It's bound to happen soon later. I just didn't think it would be in some from measly plague of all things. So where's the fall now? I'm not sure. The leech wouldn't tell me, but the assistant mention, mentioned having to dispose the dead out in the swamp. Ah, brimstone band steps. I know... It, I know I'm already in your debt system, but can I ask you another favour? I suppose I've already stuck my foot on the mess. What is it? There's an old circle of power just the west of it. It's certainly one of the young years. I expect you still got some juice left. I need to do dust it off and fire up again. I'll do it myself, but the time I get there, my poor husband's body would already produce worm farts. What am I to do with this circle? Your nodule lasts. The engravings on the obelisk will explain the rest. <coughs> right, so... Yeah, it's that one over there. Around. You brush off the blanket with thick moss and lighten for an inch of magical, yeah, magical pattern carved into the earth. The essence of power awaits you as you touch, bringing slightly what slight slight warmth to your fingertips. Four black stone obelisks surrounding a ritual spot. You need to scrape off the more overgrown decay to read the runic lettering engraving services. Okay. Normal Northern Opolis calls proof of the dead. The afterlife is nothing but bureaucratic de death certificate. Yeah, but bureaucratic a death certificate from the leech will be fit this bill. I don't have that. <coughs> East Eastern Opolis he earns for two for dragon. You haven't seen any real dragon years, but who knows what's out in the swamp? That's right, Fang. I can't get that yet. Southern Opolis I was collecting body fluids, breathe life and move in the vessel. Okay, no, can't do that one either. Western Oblast requires a source of undead animation. Okay, so I can't get a lot of these things at the moment. Alright. <coughs> okay, so I've made that. Uh, that one. I can make that one. No, I can't. Uh, bugger I can. <sighs> I might leave it for today, to be honest. I'm definitely going to continue this game. I'm loving it. It's brilliant. Brilliant story. Fun to play. I love the art style. Um, thank, thank you for joining me. Um, I will see if I can raid anybody. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing next I'm not what's the next downstream in actually
Let me just check. So, because I'm, I'm, my, my uh, schedule at work's changing again. So, um, I don't know when I'm at streaming. Me, I'm just quickly trying to find where my schedule thing is. So today was going to. So next one will be Tuesday or Wednesday or I mean, the uh, Bioshock next. I kn I still need to do Ghostbusters. I know I've left it for so long, but I will continue that. <coughs> but um, yeah, see who's see who's uh oh Hayek. There we yeah, let's go and raid them. Uh, all right, create a dashboard. <coughs> and I paint old scrolls and mine. I'm playing that ages. Uh, go and say hello, give them a follow, and I shall see you. Soon. Bye-bye.